Hey everyone, it's Jenny from jccards.com and I'm so happy to be joining you today for the Stamp of Approval Celebrate Friends blog hop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create three cards. Each of them uses dies that are available in the new Celebrate Friends Stamp of Approval collection and I'm going to be using them to create stencils over which I can apply a variety of mediums to create a focal point for my card. I'm starting out by die cutting each of the each of the dies from a sturdy white cardstock. I'm using a hundred and ten pound cardstock. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You're only going to be using this as the stencil. My recommendation is to use a panel of card that is the same size as the front of the finished cards that you're going to be creating. That way, you can make sure that when you overlay your stencil, you're getting your word in the exact right place that you want it. I'm simply running the die cuts, the dies through my uh, Platinum 6 Spellbinders machine and die cutting each of the words. I am not going to be replacing any of the smaller bits that fall out of the words because in particular these dies are quite intricate. It's easy to tell what the word says and it's not necessary that you have to replace the centers of the O's or the A's for example. However, you can choose to do so if you wish. I've then sprayed the back of each of the stencils I've created with a re repositionable spray adhesive. Uh, I used Krylon and um, you can then set aside that will stay tacky until you want to use it. For this card I'm using Dreamweaver white embossing paste and I'm mixing it with Catherine Pooler ink in Flirty Fuchsia on a craft mat and then applying it down over the stencil with a palette knife. Because we've used repositionable spray adhesive None of the smaller parts of the word die will uh, move or should move when you use the palette knife. Just be careful and make sure that you go uh, slowly and in the right direction to avoid lifting up any of the card. You'll then need to peel it very slowly off the base of the card. And what you might find is that it's a little tough at first. Just go slowly, hold your breath. You're likely that you will rip the stencil if you've made it out of paper. Uh, I don't recommend reusing them. If you want to create a stencil that's actually reusable, you could try and die cut out of a thin acetate. For this card, I'm going to use uh, Deco Foil Transfer Gel. When dry, you can actually run this through your uh, foiling machine, such as a laminator or your mink machine, <coughs> uh, using um, Thermoweb Foil or Deck Mink Foil, and you get a great look. But you have to make sure that you only uh, do that once the transfer gel is dry which you will know once it's turned clear. You'll also notice that for this one I die cut it down in the bottom right hand corner. That's why it's so important uh, my recommendation for having your stencil be the same size as your base panel because that way you already have your word you have to worry about lining it up too much. And then I'm just doing the final one which is the celebrate die from the stamp of approval collection and I'm using Bow Bunny glitter paste in uh, Caribbean and Frost which are similar in tone they're both blue one slightly lighter than the other and I'm applying uh, the darker blue at the top with a palette knife and I'm only going about halfway down and then I'm going to apply the the other color along the bottom and sort of gra gently blend them over the top of each other I don't recommend doing what I do here which is adding the mixture back into the original pot because I've obviously just added a different colour along with that colour back into the pot but oh well. Uh, and this one was a little bit tougher to peel off. I think I may have uh, over sprayed the back of my stencil. If you do find that anything is starting to rip just um, go to the other side of the panel and lift it up from another edge. You can also if there's any glue left behind any of the repositionable spray adhesive you can lift it up with a sand eraser and it will leave your card completely clear of any marks. I wanted to have the um, main word as the focal point of each of my cards so I'm going to show you how I finished them but I kept them pretty clean and simple. For this one uh, I'm coordinating with the original Flirty Fuchsia that I mixed in with the Dreamweaver embossing paste and I'm using the Woohoo stamp set from the latest collection and I'm stamping several of the sentiments that seem to coordinate really well with each other to give a really fun and happy card uh, in different colours of Catherine Pooler ink. So I started off with Sweet 16. The darker purple is Royal Treatment. I've then done Flirty Fuchsia again, a bit more of the Sweet 16 
and then some of the soft pink It's a Girl for good measure. I'm then going to use a contrasting colour, Mint to B, which is a really nice green ink. Uh, it's one of my favourites and I'm taking the sort of sparkles that are in the Woohoo stamp set and stamping them around. You might notice the blocks I'm using. This is an acrylic block by Catherine Pooler Ink. They're awesome. Uh, I, I do use the Misty, but for things like stamping sentiments in random fashion, I absolutely love these blocks. They're thick. They You can hold them easily. They're sort of curved on the inside. They're just really good. I'm now going to create card bases for uh, this is Nina Solar White, £110, and I'm just popping up the panel on foam tape to add a little bit of dimension. I'm going to finish the card off with some sequins. These are by uh, Honey Bee Stamps. They are their clear iris mix, and I'm just going to add them with some uh, liquid adhesive range of multimedia matte, and that finishes the card. Now unfortunately while I was taping the next card um, my video stopped working so I apologise. So I'm going to show you how I finished it. I foiled the transfer gel once it was dry with rainbow foil by um, uh, Thermoweb. And you'll see it's sort of a, a multicoloured foil. I lined it up in my mink machine and ran it through and you get that effect. I then went round the edge of the word with a black gel pen for a bit more dimension trimmed it down a little bit to get a border around the panel and popped it up on foam tape. The sentiment is from the Woohoo stamp set and that is heat embossed in white embossing powder onto black cardstock and I'm finishing it with some confetti sequins. I think those are by Simon Says Stamp and that finishes that card so apologies I did not catch that all on video. And then for my final card I'm first of all adding a base of silver glitter cardstock onto my card base. I've actually die cut out the middle just because I'm cheap and I want to make sure I keep the centre for something else because it's going to be covered up. Uh, so I don't want to waste my glitter cardstock when I don't have to. I'm then going to take the panel, which I've trimmed down slightly again so that you can see the glitter cardstock peeping through, and I'm popping it up on foam tape onto the panel itself. I'm then going to stamp in blackjack ink, which is a, a very dark grey ink by Catherine Pooler. Uh, again, several of the sentiments from the Woohoo stamp set uh, to spell out a phrase. It's a great stamp set because all of the words are separate. There's tons on there. It's a six by eight stamp set. So you can put them together and create tons of different sentiments. And then I'm also going to use Daydream ink, which is probably my other favourite Catherine Pooler ink. They're all good. Yeah, I like all of them, to be honest. And um, this is another abstract pattern that's on the set. I'm just stamping it to create my own border. And I thought that Daydream coordinated really well with the Bow Bunny glitter paste. And then for good measure, another little added sparkle because, you know what, it's a celebration. And that finishes the card. You can find more details on the supplies I used and a link to my blog in the description below. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.